Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I am going to answer your question number 6 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for statistics 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper FS code is WST01-01. This is the last question of this paper. The Venn diagram shows the probabilities related teenagers playing three particular board games. C is the event that a teenager plays chess. S is the event that teenager plays Scrabble. G is the event that teenager plays Go, where P and Q are the probabilities. This C is for chess, G for Go, and S for Scrabble. First part, find the probability that a randomly selected teenager plays chess but does not play Go. So you have to take these probabilities. Uh, go is this circle. This is Go, right? And chess is this one. And we will consider these two probabilities only. We will not uh, taking these two because uh, these two probabilities are for both who are playing chess and go together. Okay, this is the intersection part. So who are just playing chess but not go are these two probabilities. So you can easily get the answer for this at these two probabilities 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12. And answer of this one will be 0 0.16. So this is the first part. Second part, given that events C and S are independent, find the value of P. In second part, it is given that C and S are independent events. Uh, we know the formula for independent events. Let me write that formula again. If C and S are, if C and S are independent, independent, then by definition of independent events, we can write as probability of C intersection S should be equals to probability of C multiply probability of S. This is the definition of independent events. Okay. Now from the diagram, from Venn diagram, we can get the value for C intersection S. Uh, C intersection S is this part. Uh, let me share that one. C intersection S is this part. Okay. This one. Uh, this area. So C intersection S we will consider these two probabilities for C intersection S. Uh, if you add these two probabilities, we get the answer of C intersection S as 0 0.27. So on the left side, we can write the answer of C intersection S. So it is 0 0.27. This is the probability of C intersection S equals to probability. Now you need to find the probability of C and probability of S as well. Uh, go back to the figure. Probability of S. For probability of S, you have to add all these probabilities, uh, you know, in S. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you add all these probabilities, we get the answer as, so it is 0 0.6. So probability of C is 0 0.6. Multiply probability of S. Probability of S is, we have to add all these. In P, we will keep as is and add these three probabilities. 1, 2, and 3, okay? So what is that answer? 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.15. So it is uh, 0 0.31. So overall probability for C will be P plus 0 0.31. By adding these three, we are getting the answer 0 0.31. So probability of C will be P plus 0 0.31. P plus 0 0.31. Uh, now what you will do in the next step, this number is multiplying, so it will divide to the other side, and this is added, it will be subtracted from the other side as well. So P will be equals to 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.6. First, we will divide it, then we will bring this value on the left side, so it will be minus 0 0.31. So solve this by using calculator. So answer of P will be equals to 0 0.14. So part B is done. Part C, hence find the value of Q. It is of two marks. Now uh, look at the diagram. Uh, we already got the answer of P, that is 0 0.14. As you know that uh, total probability for all the events is always equals to one, okay? If you subtract all these probabilities from one, straight away we will get the answer of Q. Q will be equals to one minus, add all these probabilities, it will be 0 0.04, plus 0 0.14 plus 0 0.15 0 0.12 0 0.1 and 
plus 0.23. So we will subtract all these probabilities from 1. Solve it and get the answer and subtract that answer from 1. We will get the answer of Q as 0.22. This is the answer of part C. Now you need to find uh, the probability for C union S intersection G naught. C union S, you will take C union S all of them and then you will take the intersection part with not G. So G is not included there. Okay. In the Venn diagram, C union S are representing these uh, probabilities. This one, the red one. Okay. P is also in C. Union is all together. So this is included in C union S. This is included in C union S. This probability is also included in C union S. And this probability is included as well in C union S. Now you have to take the intersection of all these red with not G. Which values, which probabilities are in not G? G prime. G prime means not G. So here I'm, I, I will mark them. So these probabilities are not included in G. This one, this one and that one. Okay. Hopefully you understand because this one, these three properties are included in G. So we have to take the intersection of all these red with not G. So these yellow, three yellow, these three yellow probability, probabilities you need to add to get the answer of that. So this will be 0 0.04 plus 0. Point, uh, for this one, let me write answer here. 0 0.04 plus the other one 0 0.12 plus 0 0.23. So solve it and get the answer for this. It is 0 0.39. So this is the answer for first part of part D. Now this is the conditional probability. C actually you should know the formula of conditional probability. Probability of A given that B, the basic formula for conditional probability is like that. A intersection B divided by probability of B. This is the formula for conditional probability. Now same way we can write here probability of C intersection, S intersection, G, we will divide by probability of S intersection, G. In the numerator, we need to find the probability of C intersection, S intersection, G. For sure, that will be this part. So this is the common part for all these games, C, G and S. So 0 0.15 is the answer of the numerator. So we can write here 0 0.15. Now you need to find the intersection of S with G. S with G. So intersection part for S and G will be this part, you know, uh, this, this, this one. So you need to add these two probabilities. Therefore, we can write here in the numerator as 0 0.15 plus 0 0.1. Solve it by using calculator. You get the answer as 0 0.6. So part D is done. Move on. Let's solve the last part of this question. A youth club consists of large number of teenagers. In this youth club, 76 teenagers play chess and go. Use the information in the Venn diagram to estimate how many of teenagers in youth club do not play Scrabble. For this, uh, you should know the total number of teenagers. To that only one information is given in this part that uh, number of teenagers who are playing chess and go and in probability question is intersection okay number of teenagers who are playing chess and go are 76 we need to find the number of uh, teenagers who are not playing scrabble so before going into this part let me tell you a basic formula of probability to solve the last part of this question we know that uh, pro probability if you want to find probability of any event a what we are doing, we are writing here number of uh, elements in A divided by total outcomes. Favorable outcome divided by total outcomes. If you want to find the probability of any event, what we are doing, we are writing number of uh, elements in that event divided by total outcomes. Okay, this is the basic formula. Now, by using this formula and uh, what information we have, uh, we have this one number of uh, teenagers who are playing chess and go is 76. So if you write here the probability for this, like uh, probability of C intersection G, according to that formula, we can write here number of teenagers, number of uh, teenagers in 
who are playing chess and go c intersection g will be divided by total teenagers total number of teenagers okay according to this formula this probability you can get from uh, the diagram intersection part of c and g is these two values 0.14 and 0.15 so here we can write here 0.14 plus 0.15 is the probability for this one number of teenagers who are playing chess and go will be 76 divide by total number here i am writing the total number okay total number of teenagers so if you exchange them you will get the total number of teenagers from here total number of teenagers will be equals to 76 divided by 0 0.29 if you use calculator we will get the answer in decimal but uh, you should round it up uh, to the whole number if you divide it you are getting answer as 262.0 so I am writing as whole number because number of teenagers cannot be a decimal. So it will be 262. Teenagers are there in the youth club. Same way, if you want to find the number of teenagers who are not playing Scrabble, first of all, you need to find the number of uh, teenagers who are not playing Scrabble. You need to find this in this part. Okay. So probability of not playing Scrabble could be found from uh, from the diagram we already got the answer of uh, this one as well that is 0 0.22 so which probabilities we will uh, consider here sorry it is mixed up due to the previous parts uh, here let me use a different color so here let me write these probabilities who are not playing scrabble this is one of them out of scrabble you will take all the probabilities that are outside uh, so this one and these three these three probabilities uh, are for them who are not playing Scrabble. So we will add 0 0.04, 0 0.14 and 0 0.22. Therefore probability for who are not playing Scrabble will be 0 0.04 plus 0 0.14 plus 0 0.22. You have to add them and we get the answer as 0 0.4. Again I am using the basic formula like this one. We Actually we need to find the, this number. Uh, so according to the formula for this one it will be equals to n of uh, s divide by total numbers total number of teenagers total number so total number we already got it that is 262 and uh, this probability so this number will multiply by its probability to get the number of number of uh, teenagers who are not playing scrabble so it will be equals to 0 0.4 will multiply by total number that is 0 that is 262 now if you solve it we get the answer as decimal but we have to round it up so it will be 104.8 is the exact answer if you round it up it will be 105 teenagers who are not playing scrabble so this is all about this question if you have any doubt or any comment about this question please write in the comment box thank you